my cousin Martin, with whom I correspond, uh, now by uh, email, um, quite often, um, said that he, whenever he questioned his mother, she seemed so reticent about her early life and um, um, saddened by it that he didn't um, want to pursue the issue too much, you know, and ask too many questions. So he recently has asked me for as much as I could give of family history. So suddenly, from all directions, <laughs> um, my niece Evelyn has been asking, um, and another cousin that I, di I discovered, a second cousin, um, who Evelyn knows very well, and who asked Evelyn many questions, and Evelyn said, we must refer all this to my auntie Sylvia. Um, so the cousin Liz said, well, would you ask her if we could correspond? And Evelyn said, of course. So she asked me and I said, well, why not? So we've established a very nice rapport and we write to one another, email one another. And we have met. We met in London the year before last. And that was really lovely. And she brought with her, um, in fact, uh, Jennifer Golding said, don't meet in a cafe somewhere. Uh, you know, in strange surroundings. If she has no objection to coming over one Saturday afternoon, why don't you two get together? Um, I'll go and have a, uh, an enjoyable nap. Alec is going out anyway. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Have tea and enjoy yourself in the, in the lounge. Sit down and talk to one another. Get to know one another. And uh, I spoke to her on the phone and she was delighted with the idea and came over and brought with her a large old photo, um, which she showed me, you know, family members. Uh, and it was very, very nice. So we had a lovely get together. <laughs>